Joining me now from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, founder and organizer of Reopen PA, Matt Bellis. Matt, your governor says that the timeline to re which seems to keep shifting, by the way, whether it's yellow or red or green or what have you, but the timeline is now dependent upon the virus. I say the timeline is dependent upon his political agenda. What do you say? The governor has a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of say in what happens in the state, unfortunately, because uh, he has been talking about June 4th as a magical date for a lot of these counties to move to yellow. Uh, if it were to be uh, pushed by the virus, then we would actually be using data and metrics to do so. Unfortunately, we see the governor speaks out of one side of his mouth and does uh, another thing uh, on the back end. So unfortunately, it's hard to believe him when he says the, the virus is dictating what's going to happen because he has also put, frankly, a lot of people in harm's way with this virus, not uh, discounting our seniors. Yeah, I've been looking at the death count. Now, I don't do this very often, uh, Matt, but once in a while I'll, I'll look at the numbers because early on uh, I, I identified this as a trap being set up by the blue state governors like Wolf and the mainstream media. But just for the heck of it, I looked at your Pennsylvania COVID-19 death numbers, and they are not outrageous at all. And, of course, we don't want to lose any lives to any disease. But when you look at the last week, for example, 124 deaths, 61, 18 on one day, 26, I believe, was just yesterday, 4,500 deaths total. That's a point zero zero zero. 3% chance of dying from the Wuhan coronavirus in a state of roughly 12 million people. That's the data that should be driving what the governor is doing. And even the data that we are receiving is somehow suspicious as well because we're receiving the a definite this person or that person died from the coronavirus when you're not really able to get that type of data on a regular basis for at least three days. So to know exactly this person died from the coronavirus and uh, uh, to know that succinctly uh, is also a little suspicious. Uh, basically, we're living in a situation in Pennsylvania where the data is not necessarily given to us on a clear, consistent basis. Our de decisions aren't made by the data. Uh, and so the whole concept and idea of transparency and letting the virus dictate how we reopen is not necessarily trusted by many Pennsylvanians within the state. But the, we know also through the CDC that these doctors and hospitals are over diagnosing COVID-19 and applying a COVID-19 death when in reality it shouldn't be exactly how much they're inflated. I, you know, I've looked at the numbers consistently now for a couple of months and I think it could be in the neighborhood of 50 to 75 percent. We'll probably really never know. We'll never know the answer to that. But we do know this that millions and millions of Pennsylvanians are suffering. And I'm sure you've got story after story after story of folks who are joining your effort to reopen PA about this suffering, and it's absolutely needless. You're absolutely right, because we have been in a situation where our governor had a waiver list of many businesses that uh, were allowed to operate during this time that didn't make any sense whatsoever as to why or how they got those waivers. Yeah. It might have been just luck of the draw. It might have been politically motivated. But now the waiver list has been uh, released and 71 were revoked before it came out. So, again, we're in a situation of mass confusion, over politicization, uh, not much data coming out from the governor. And frankly, he has cordoned off these powers as a governor for far too long. And uh, it looks as though come June 4th, he may try to extend those emergency powers beyond his 90-day time limit. And that's something we just can't have in PA. And frankly, it is disgusting and un-American for any singular politician to deem something non-essential all business, like all lives, in my opinion, are essential. I only got 30 seconds left, um, Matt. What was your message? You had a rally on Friday. What was your message to, to the people? Is the time for protest over? Is it time to open up? It's not necessarily over in terms of protests and rallies. We had a simple message to the governor. You've been having these emergency powers for too long. It's time to give them up. And right now, we need to come together as individual Pennsylvanians to have that conversation of how we're going to do it and do it responsibly. And we might have to do it outside of what the governor says. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.